Hey, handsome listeners and pretty little ladies. I would like to tell you about a new show called Jocular, hosted by ER Fightmaster, Tian Tran, and Katie Kershaw. They're comedians, writers, and also best friends who are obsessed with women's sports. They're exploring all things queer, trans, and women forward in the world of sports. In each episode, they'll cover the latest games, debate pressing issues, and review how they're all really horny for basically everyone in the game. Friends and experts will join to share their takes on sports ranging from women's basketball to soccer to power slapping. I love this. I grew up playing sports. I played all year round. Love women's sports. Love watching them. So I'll be very excited to see what their take is on what's going on in the sports world. So tune in every Friday for new episodes of Jocular on Apple, Amazon, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast now. Handsome Chatting with friends on the Handsome Pod Chatting with friends on the Handsome Pod Cheers! Hello, it is your friend Tig Notaro sitting here with my co-hosts Fortune Feimster and your pal. Oh, sorry. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh, May. I, it's my most stressful part of this podcast. Just saying, is saying hello. Name. Yes. Yeah. I'm May Martin. <laughs> I welcome to the Handsome Pod. Oh, uh, welcome. Well, before we move on, May, how are you doing? I'm absolutely fine. I don't. I don't know why I couldn't breathe and speak. At, well, at I mean, you're only what? 38. 36. 36. Oh my god, oh, my a gosh. baby. I haven't had time to learn how to speak and. No, I'm 25. Time. This is crazy. Oh this is crazy. I can you rent a car. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I can rent a car for the first time. It's pretty exciting. Can yeah. you not rent a car before 25? No. You're 25 kidding. 25 is the age but that's... That, that her parents gave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it really is. That's the rule. 25. I, the only reason I want to get my driver's license is to like rent a car and go on road trips and drive my friends. So now I'm like, maybe I wait. But well, you're you have to old learn... enough. You're old oh. enough. You are <laughs> yeah. old enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was more concerned oh that you God. need to learn Wait how to drive. Minute. Wait, walk us through how my that thought happened. Process there. <laughs> okay, I was thinking. I I truly thought you're well past. Yeah, I could. Okay, so I could. Yeah, you can rent a car. No, Canadians are only. They have to be. <laughs> 37. <laughs> I think I thought maybe the gap was like you have to be driving a certain number of years. To, oh, interesting. But I also must no. think of myself as 21. Uh, you maybe. That was do. crazy. That was a really genuine. That was a reveal. Is that the age you feel like you are? I have two eight. Like I feel like we've talked about. It, I feel perpetually like thirteen braces, yeah. long mm -hmm. hair, yeah. um, monstrous. That and then, that and person the, can't. Drive that person cannot, but they would be blasting hat. third eye blind. Yeah. Let me tell you, uh, third and then, eye blind. Yeah, big time. Okay, wow. Yeah, and imagining I was like the male singer. Mm -hmm. I used to. I had long hair, braces, acne, and I was like, I am by choice. Uh, acne? Yeah, I was like, gotta uh. get the whole picture, <laughs> and I was so obsessed with all these men, and and yeah. I would have these fantasies where I would be singing like, I don't want to miss a thing, like like a male thing, but I would imagine grown men in the audience watching me with boners like that they oh, were interesting have i said this before um you've said something about third i feel like blind you give before. off the vibe of that <laughs> the boner yeah, part yeah, yeah. the boner part's new fortune <laughs> dig uh, what i'm just repeating May. well don't repeat that word <laughs> Do you think uh, if we went on a cross country driving road trip, like ooh, fun, put it right? on the list? Put on the list, actually. Thomas, Thomas. put who, it on the list. Who would be in charge of like the playlist, and would we all agree on? We would have to rotate playlists. Okay, mm, I'd be in charge. I think that's really? true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd be in charge. Well, you'd be holding the map, okay? Because we can't use GPS. So you'd <laughs> we have to. Can't? No, <laughs> not even ways. No, no, we'd have to bring a paper map. Wow, and you at can't every drive. Passing car. I can't drive because so what are you doing? I'm winking at people. <laughs> High five. I'm doing it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. May doing? I really want to drive. I'm doing you're this. Sing you're singing some tunes. You're singing. For We're sure. both singing. I know. You're putting our suitcases in the car. Oh, oh I can lift the suitcases. Yeah. So and then strong. Yeah. During the drive, I'm kind of... Boners. <laughs> boners over there. Fortune! <laughs> <laughs> you have given everyone a boner. Right? <laughs> what has yeah. the show turned into? <laughs> I'm in the car giving everyone boners. Now yeah. I'm driving, so does that mean 
if you're the playlist, are you in the well, front? Well, nobody's seat? driving. Well, maybe we should bring Thomas. Thomas, you Thomas Thomas is have driving. To drive. Thomas is driving. Thomas, because you're, I you're don't navigating. Mind being, I can be in the back seat. I don't mind. Bossing us around? Well, isn't the passenger person the, ba- the boss? Yeah, backseat driver. Yeah, but yeah. Backseat boss. Dri- okay, but yeah. will you be navigating from the back? Um, I, I'm worried that I, well, no, actually I'm pretty good with directions. So I was thinking, yeah, I would do that. Yeah, sure. I'll I navigate w- from the back. With a compass, like a, a physical compass. compass. Yeah, a yeah, compass yeah. and a map from a gas station. I yes. Don't, I even know it's how to use huge. a compass. Whenever we get lost, then we have to pull over to a gas station and ask. Oh, and get yeah. snacks. No, yeah. ask directions. <laughs> and get snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but in the car, I'm, I'm just like on my phone texting Yo, or something. We or? need you to be of use to us. Are I you, could compliment Tig's music choices in a very obsequious way. Just like, now, well, I love this one. And um, where did you first hear this? <laughs> now, are we live streaming any of this? Or is this for us? May could be in charge well, we'll of that. We'll probably need to turn it into a documentary. That's oh, true, yeah. yeah. Also, you could be uh, flexing your muscles. I have been... Li- I have been... <laughs> You've been lifting I just ruined any like coolness I would have had by the level of excitement in my voice. I'm like, oh, it I happens. Been, it happens every I've time. Been out. I've been working out. I, I have actually been not. Uh, I've been <laughs> lifting heavy You're lifting things. weights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And it's like you know the way with your treading water. Like yeah. So I it's just my went, treading water. Yeah. Sorry, Tig's <laughs> and then <laughs> treading <Trojan>. water. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> It is not. What if I was like commandeering <laughs> treading water? No, Tig, this is my thing. I started it. <laughs> and by the way, I started it. Why does that tickle me so much? Be fortunate you're treading water. That's mine. <laughs> uh, it no, is. actually, it's mine. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's like Fortune's treading oh, water yeah, thing. The, Fortune's <laughs> thing you. that she borrowed from I've Tig. been on a break. It's been raining a lot. Yeah. But you know how you like go up an increment and you're happy. I do feet. know how I do this. Yeah, yeah. Tig has no idea <laughs> about this. Well, either. I don't go up in increments. I just do it for an hour straight. That's oh, true. really? I had, yeah. I had to work my way up. But Tig, it is Tig's <laughs> thing. So. And now you've worked your way <laughs> out. I um Due to the weather. I was just going to say, I've gone up to a heavier weight, I guess. It's <laughs> not a great, great story. Oh, that's where we're getting to? That's yeah, where we're getting to. I've gone up. That's good, man. I've gone up. Thanks. Yeah, it feels so good. You'll lift the luggage. I'll lift the luggage. You lift yeah. the luggage. Since and flex. Since and we are sharing good news, I did find out that my heating bill wasn't as crazy as I thought it would be doing my thing of treading water. Oh, um, oh okay. That's good news. solar panels. You know, getting oh. to know you better, <laughs> it's so funny how you are on to, you like... You you know dates and amounts of yeah. money and yeah. uh, you know you're like you're very business minded. You oh, are business. You're really? organized. Yeah. You're the of the three of us. Like Stephanie really pointed that out to me. Really at, after our live show. Yeah, she was like, you know, Fortune just like gets up and confidently shakes hands and like you know. Oh, and I was like, well, that's wait, Jack's up and bossing her around. This is positive, hands. right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. But wait, did I not? Get up and did we were we wait, just did, sitting there? I don't know what we were wait, doing. Wait, wait, who was I shaking hands with? The oh, like the pe- all the people that came like business in. I, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the people that were yeah. like, "Hello, handsome pod. We, we might want to." Right, right. Because we were all kind of sitting there, like do do do, and I was like, "Yeah." It occurred to me. I was like, "Oh, I should like give a proper hello." Yeah. yeah. Well, we had Biggie backstage. That was really exciting. Yeah, that was an honor. Ba- he's my baby. I got um. I, I I was I have this nice camera, and you remember I was taking all these pictures yeah. of Biggie, and in my mind they were gonna turn out like these beautiful like, like National Geographic portraits yeah. and they came out and they're just like so much flash and he's just like what <laughs> is it like his eyeballs I think are he's just... cuter in person like you you don't get his magic unless you see him right yeah. there up close it's also like um I don't like little dogs that feel fragile and he's uh-huh. like a proper like you could hug him like yeah. he's, or he's just like a, he's a little bit hearty little legs yeah. Like, yeah he's good oh see I like you guys even more now because mm-hmm. you Appreciate my son. I'll, Who wants I'll to remember talk about that. my cats? <laughs> well, I'm Do a little it. scared of uh, Are the cats fluff. on a road trip? It's not fluff. It was Linus. Linus who... <laughs> oh, yeah. Are the cats on our road trip? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. Are they in a carrier? No. Just oh, Roman just free. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In a small sedan. <laughs> oh, my oh, wow. God. We're not even in a van? No, we are in a small oh, sedan. Oh, no. Okay. We don't have that kind of cash. I'm trying to think about what size book bag do I bring? Book, book bag. bag? You guys don't <laughs> carry book bags? I travel Wait. books? No, like a what do you call it? No purse? Like knapsack no, backpack? A backpack. Oh, what did I, I call it? A book bag? <laughs> yeah, book bag. Like, <laughs> Whatever. Backpack, book bag. A book bag's like but a you know satchel, I, mean. I imagine. Oh, is it? I've never heard that. I thought a book bag was also the same thing as a backpack. 
when we're on this road trip, like when I would go with my parents, like we'd have big arguments about navigation and um, stuff. Like, do you think that's gonna happen? I hope we don't fight. <sighs> I don't feel upset with either of you. Me neither. Well, but I guess anything could happen. Remember when May that one time said, I hope that we go past April. You remember saying that? The, when was that? The like, podcast at one point? You said that like two Did, weeks didn't ago. Didn't May say that? Yeah. Like, well, ho- <laughs> hopefully <laughs> we go past April. Are or you something. serious? It was something Fortune random. Fortune and I like are that. picturing this into our <laughs> retirement years. <laughs> and May's like, like I hope, hope we're doing like this cheese, at Easter time. Like eating cheese cake together. <laughs> That's really funny. But then I also said confidently that if I could pause time, I'd like to spend a week with just us. with you guys. That's true. You, and made you guys were it. like, oh, we're busy. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember us Agre- feeling similarly, but <laughs> I would want to spend some of that time with you for sure. Yeah, like what? a long weekend. Then I'd want to also yeah. sleep. A long weekend. I'd also want to You're going to want to sleep over the week. Catch up on some rest. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can't. How can I sleep when I could be bonding <laughs> with my friends? <laughs> okay, be honest. I like, love to sleep. To go on a road trip. Yeah. With the awesome. four of with us. With your best yeah. friends. With the four of us. Yeah. Not your best friends, but the four of us. <laughs> Finn yeah. and Max thinks that we're your best friends. Well, they ask. <laughs> <laughs> are Fortune and May your best friends? <laughs> no. They are my coworkers. They're the, they're the friends I chat with. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, but and, we're, and we're your friends, though. Right. Yeah, not best friends, but no, I'm, we're friends. But I'm just saying, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I had to explain to him, well, no, I don't care about them that deeply. <laughs> <laughs> I like them a lot. And, um, but uh, but yeah, if if we went on a, a, a road trip with Mr. Thomas mm-hmm. yeah. in a, a small sedan yeah, um, with heavy luggage in the trunk. That maze carry Visceral. I can almost smell the sedan. Yeah. Yeah. How long? Does how this long, last? Yeah. How long is the trip? A week? I could do a. What if we do a? We did a long weekend. May have. Oh, oh. you want to do a long weekend? I'm like already going longer than a week. week. Oh, I don't know. So, oh, <laughs> I don't so know you, about that. You wanted to. You wanted to stop time to be with us. <laughs> I think it's the driving part that's freaking me out, though. Like you don't have to drive. I know, but still, it's you a don't very. Be in a car. You just have space. to be in the car flexing. Wait, does anyone get car sick? <laughs> no. Okay. I don't. Good. No, I don't think Jack's I do. Jack's gets car sick, but she's the, the she. There's no room in the sedan. No, yeah. we got our ladies will be home. You know. <laughs> yeah, we got to bring two cats, a dog. Oh, with three Your cats. book bag is huge. Three cats. Your book bag is that's be a problem. Taking up a whole. <laughs> book bag your book bag is, is like in the books. <laughs> Not a single book in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll probably have to get one of those racks on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For your book bag. Okay. And one of the cats. How about this? A uh, holiday weekend. So yeah. it's an extra Which day. Which holiday? Christmas. Memorial Day. <laughs> Let's go for Christmas. <laughs> Let's spend Christmas <laughs> together. Let's spend Christmas. Mo- in a- Memorial Day or the Fourth of July weekend because my birthday is July first. Mm-hmm. We could celebrate all of these things. So do we ever arrive at a destination or we're just driving? Sounds like we're just going to like Big Bear and back or something. Uh, <laughs> never getting out. I feel like we're aimlessly driving. Are we, going to, we, get so. tired? Are we going to the Phoenix? <laughs> Phoenix. Somewhere tropical. <laughs> Phoenix or somewhere tropical like Palm, that? <laughs> Palm Springs. Palm Springs would be good. I would do it's a week. two hours. Yeah, we want well, three solid days of driving. Oh, we have to drive the whole time? We can't at yeah. some point end up yeah, I guess at we could stay at like resort? A, a motel, roadside motel. Wait, why does that have to be a motel? <laughs> well, we are on a budget. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Also, um, I feel like I would eventually get tired of you flexing. Yeah. So you too. can flex at the cars going by. Oh, wow. okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'll just turn my back to you. Or you can put me on the rack on top and I yeah. can just pose. Wow. And we could do a sign of like, if you want to see more of this, follow us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. We should be promoting the podcast during this road trip. Right. Well, Thomas will have a megaphone out the window. And he's we have a great plan, singing guys. Singing. Pretty with good. On the handsome pod. And we know if Fortune gets annoyed with us, we just compliment Biggie Thank and then you. it warms. Or me. Why would you be annoyed with us? <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? Sounds like you guys are pretty entertaining <laughs> <laughs> that's enough flexing over there may what was that <laughs> is that your who was that oh, was that, that was you or taking yeah, it was me angry is that you angry i guess in this scenario. listen here Jax. listen here <laughs> you I'm become pretty chill on a road trip yeah well, you yeah. suddenly became like a bad guy from scooby-doo there. yeah I, I would only be ornery if i couldn't 
start the morning with some sort of espresso situation. Mm-hmm. If I, hmm. like, once I wake up and I've shot, I do like to shower in the morning. I'm a morning shower person. Hmm. I get Like, sh- right when you wake up, you take. Yeah. I wow. get up. Before go, coffee? Yeah, before coffee. Whoa. I My go straight God. to the shower. I get off all the night sweats. I don't know. <laughs> oh if I my have god! Any. And then I go straight for my espresso machine. Uh huh. Um. So as long as I have those two things, I'm in a good mood. And have you looked at your phone before all this? Um. I like glance at it okay. a little bit, but I'm not like knee deep in it yet. Mm-hmm. And while you're in the shower, you're listening to our podcast. Yeah, probably. Do you ever take a bath, or is it always? Oh, a I shower? love a bath. Okay. Not in the mornings though. That's more of a like if I'm on the road. Yeah, and I'm by myself, and the room it has a bathtub. I'm like, all right, yeah, get out those bath salts, baby. We're gonna have some me time. What about bubbles? I love a bubble. Yeah. I love one a bubble. bubble. <laughs> one, one big bubble. bubble in a tub. Right, a, one right here <laughs> on my nip. Oh my god! The other one's just fully exposed. <laughs> The other uh, what? Nip. Fortune. <laughs> that uh, was a setup. <laughs> you want to eat better, but you need it to be easy. And that's why you need to try Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals. Every fresh, never frozen meal from Factor is chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to go in just two minutes. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every single week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there's all these add-ons, more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. Factor is flexible for your schedule. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing your meals every week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast, premium options with no cooking required. Plus, sign up and save. We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout. And every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. Head to factormeals.com slash handsome50 and use code handsome50 to get 50% off. That's code handsome50 at factormeals.com slash handsome50 to get 50% off. Um, this whole yeah. thing has been a setup. I love a bath. <laughs> they're great. Oh, I love I Some love people it. hate, think they're just like sitting in their own dirty water, which is also true, but that's okay. yeah, what's wrong with that? Yeah, what's wrong with that? It's like my dirty bath. water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stephanie and I take baths together, though. Oh, tell us they, more. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's so nice. <laughs> you and Parvati don't? We tried the other night and we're like instantly oh. too hot and just like not enough room. And it was like kind of sexy for a minute. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to go. Oh, my gosh. We get in the tub together all the time. This is the content everybody's been waiting this for. This is great. Come in a little go. closer. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, bubbles. Oh, bubbles, okay. bath salts, yep, candles, yep. maybe some candles. One time, Ooh, candles. did I tell? I think I told you about Thomas when we tried like, to TMI. have TMI. <laughs> no, continue. We're good. Have I told you my feeling about TMI? Oh no. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> well, TMI stands for too much information. Yeah. yeah. And yet TMI gives barely any information. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Something to Continue think about. about the so think about. There's a lot of people on the edge of their seats right now. Yeah. So well, that's all. We just we it. sit in our filthy water and and, and then what? And we towel off. And, and then we're what? still in the bath right yeah, now. Yeah, wait. Are you oh, guys yeah. making out in the bath? No, we, we, we sit. We chat, we chat with friends on the handsome Are park. you reading books? <laughs> no, we chat. We sit okay. and chat. And, um, Do you and bring your book bag into the bathroom before you... Yeah. I don't have a book bag. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. Oh. I just have a clutch. <laughs> <laughs> a little clutch. <laughs> God, get a clutch. <laughs> but see, you're small. You two can fit in a tub easily. Well, but we still are grown people and our legs are all right. like, where there's moments in the bath where we're like, oh, can you move your leg? Well, yeah. sorry. I, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. there's those little moments, but we like to do that before bed. And then I don't know if I mentioned this on this show or not, but my brother collects whiskey oh. and he sent fancy whiskey. Uh-huh. So we were like, OK, um, maybe we'll when we take one of our baths, we could have a little whiskey when we uh-huh. are in the tub. Yeah. And um, and so we did that, and I took a sip of whiskey, and 
<laughs> was like, and you were gonna like that good, oh God. that good stuff is so strong really it's so strong because it, it's a high alcohol I, uh, and from I the like heat and the heated up uh, and I had to get out of the tub I like oh my, jumped yeah, out of the tub full that's of bubbles that's hardcore it's like 110% proof or something I ran to our bed and I was like oh god oh. <laughs> Stephanie's still in the tub like uh, what uh, happened <laughs> It's so always like me. it's so sexy at Great first, invitation. but then when when one person has to clamor out of the bath, yeah. you, you can't be sexy during it. You become this like, like spider right monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's true like when one person gets out first yeah b-hole well, is that better i'm sorry right but in front of your wa- do you face. not know how to no. not do that <laughs> no you can't sidestep I'm l- out i'm lucky to get out of there alive <laughs> <laughs> sometimes your b-hole is in full view well who cares you're married to this person i know but do they want to see yeah that's what she married you for no solely was. it's just that <laughs> solely for that no, <laughs> are you? But I would have assumed that you're. You guys were big into baths together. That's surprising no. that you were like, eh, I'm gonna yeah. get out of here. No, I just hop in the cold shower and towel off, yeah, and then start like lifting weights. Not- <laughs> <laughs> that we, amazing. Friend. We did. Um, I wish I was that guy. We did. Um, we have had a couple, but no, I think in previous relationships I've been more into baths. I, I, yeah. I had I had a romantic like Valentine's Day bath with someone who then farted in the bath so loud and Bubbles. then laughed so hard and we we I, I was so thrilled like I was <laughs> That's funny. crying laughing and she was so it was like she turned it into like a jacuzzi like yeah. with, it was a really significant and That's do you want to name names <laughs> yeah she might appreciate the shout yeah. out I loves naming names Fr- I feel first like I'm scared names. well she I think you she would stand by this name. Yeah. she this was like a recurring problem <laughs> yeah. problem for me it was a delight but it's a recurring problem for you because I feel like you've had a lot of of tutors of tutors. Yeah, Some I have, have actually. tutors. May has tutors. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what was? That? I was trying to make a joke. That May has some people have suitors. You know, <laughs> I oh, got right, tutors. Right. Okay. May has tutors. I liked it. Thank you it's for okay. allowing me to. Do you want to say it, it again? again? Say it one more say time. Say it one more time. Right. Yeah, but really some, sell it. Some people have suitors. May has tutors. <laughs> You yeah. should, I was better. You should close your next special with that. <laughs> I'm writing it down. Okay. You don't need to. You'll never forget that. It's good. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, uh, I don't know. I dated someone who I won't name who would pour gallons of apple cider vinegar into the bath and it's Whoa. it was it smelled like vinegar so strongly. And uh and she was like, it's good for like your pH or something. I was like, who told I you this? Drink it. Gallons of, yeah, well, then she'd be in the bath and she'd gargle the, <gasps> no! the apple cider no! vinegar. The one that's in the bathtub yeah, with her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink <laughs> it. Go, and, and the, oh, no. And Y'all I, broke up like the next day, right? I no, would have ended it there. It was not that, a... Get out, you weirdo. That's wild. <laughs> you filthy weirdo. That is wild. She flew in to visit me one time and I was and like... And she brought her apple no, cider vinegar I was her. like... I gotta order some to be ready for her. Like I, I, it, you know the things you normalize when you're dating someone. You're like, oh well, God. and then she has the apple cider, the vinegar. So you were bath. just like, were y'all both in the tub and she drank it? I never got in. Okay, the, what she would try to encourage. I got sick once. I got a cold. She was like, you gotta do oh the vinegar God. thing. Uh, did her pH? It sm- she smelled fine. There was this. <laughs> yeah, she smelled great, but. Well, she smelled fine. There was a slight vinegar. <laughs> she smelled like vinegar in the apartment after the bath, but. This is. She smelled great. I've yeah. never heard of someone being in a bath with apple cider vinegar and drinking, and they just get a cup and just. I wait, don't think wait, there was a cup involved. Just like, she, like I think it was like hands. Hands. This was like when I when I caught her. <laughs> I, I love um, that Fortune <laughs> pictured her with, with like a little ladle, a, cup like a and ladle, and ladle, yeah, a little spoon, <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> hands. Ha- w- this when is I like did... primitive. <laughs> I don't. I've never seen I Fortune can't this mad. Get over this. Yeah. And I love that you were like, I got your apple cider vinegar Wait, for this. primitive comp- how? I was really... I don't even know. think it's primitive. Like, it's I just think it's... Like, beastly. Weird. You think it's know. beastly? Yeah. <laughs> beastly. Feels, let's let's feels see a be- picture of this one. I was me. really um, infatuated and just kind of was like, yeah, okay, all right. That's pretty weird, oh but cool. God. And was then, this um, person hot? I'll show you after. See, this is yeah, the problem. She we was. let hot people get away with weird <laughs> stuff. I think someone so, needs to start telling hot people that not everything's okay. I remember one time though, I had Heard to go you to, loud and clear. <laughs> I had to go to work, and I left her like in the vinegar bath, 
And then so I came back, she'd left in the evening and she'd writ she'd done like in a rom com written on my mirror with lipstick a message to me, which a so hard to get off your mirror after like and also she had spelt my name wrong. And we had been dating four months. How did she spell your name? M A Y. I know. I'm speechless. Uh, I know, I know. See, this is well, I hate to ruin this conversation about <laughs> apple vinegar, but we have a very special um, oh my God. guest today that I feel like we should. We do. We cannot wait any longer because okay. I'm on the edge of my seat. This okay. is We have been behind the scenes talking about this and the, the potential of this happening for since the beginning, mm -hmm. yeah. putting pressure on TIG to make this a there reality. There has been a lot of pressure yeah. on me. Yes. And, and uh, I was but, willing to step in and ask if you if it didn't work out for you to ask i was not <laughs> yeah because i don't know this person i do know but this you've person. seen her in things oh i've seen her work <laughs> i've yeah. seen her work um and i'm a deep fan so Same. this is huge okay well and here's what's fun not only like you put pressure on me yeah. but guess what? what guess who else was putting pressure on her who her private chef <gasps> no way what? huge fan of handsome no oh, way can huge her, fan can we Okay, this might be a little forward. I know we haven't gotten to our guests yet. We know who it is. Should we ask um, her do you, if you want to follow up to see if we should come over for dinner at some point? For I should probably see if, yeah. uh, if, if <laughs> oh her my chef God. wants to make handsome <laughs> but dinner. At, but at Jen's house. Well, you just revealed who it is. Well, it no I mean, it people isn't don't know. <laughs> people don't. Well, nobody will know who Jen is until That's I true. explain that it's Jennifer Aniston. What? Oh my God! What an exciting day on the Handsome Pod. It the is. fact that so you've you've filmed with her. I have. You were in a, a very funny scene that I remember thinking yeah. that was a great scene. O office Christmas party. We had a. I like to call it iconic. <laughs> um, scene where I drove her in an Uber in an office Christmas party. It won the People's Choice Award for best scene with electric sure. chemistry. <laughs> no, but kidding. I had also I had met Jen a couple times. Uh, I also call her Jen, just so you know. Where are people uh, just meeting Jen? Uh, well, she uh, did a couple things. Uh, I sat beside her at Thanksgiving at Chelsea Handler's house. Okay, nice. Long time ago, um, and she was like, uh, I was so starstruck. Um, she's so pretty and <laughs> so like the nicest freaking person. Chelsea? No. <laughs> 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 yes, tall. Um, and I was, it was the only seat left and I had just started at Chelsea. Like no one really knew who I was. Oh and my God. She was like, I made the Greek salad. I'm like, I love salad. <laughs> oh my God. You're like, I mean, that I was, was my favorite thing on the table. Crazy. I, I love Greek people. <laughs> oh my God. She's great. I know. Yeah. But, uh, and then she filmed a thing for uh, this little after show thing we did. Um, and then, yeah, did that movie with her. And then I would see her, you know, at press stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then She's you guys the are proper pals. You're, you're in morning show. Yeah, we are like buds. We are proper pals. Um, uh, I'm happy to tell you my origin story uh, with yes, Jen. Uh, we were both at a wedding in New Orleans. And this is what I was just saying to Jen the other night, that it's so crazy that we met in New Orleans. I know, yeah. So we're at the wedding. Her um, spouse, partner, was in the wedding. Okay. And, um, and so she was just like, hey, come sit by me, because we had been talking Mm -hmm. briefly and I was like oh, okay yeah sure and uh and then we had such a nice time and then uh then at dinner she was like come sit by me at dinner and I was like yeah and um yeah because when you're uh I mean I guess we say Jennifer Aniston um mm -hmm. uh, there's the big reveal um I already said it oh yeah you, you missed yeah, the I big looked reveal. right at the camera <laughs> I think I don't know which camera did you how did I miss yeah. that well because I you... think I was still thinking about that apple cider vinegar bath yeah <laughs> <laughs> when you're Jennifer Aniston you can just move a, a place card uh -huh. and put and the someone seating else. arrangement yeah yeah, yeah. you sat by her I did and we had such a fun time that weekend and I left thinking well that was so fun and yeah. she's so nice mm -hmm. and um but I wasn't thinking I'm sure we're probably going to be pals. <laughs> yeah. And then I went out to lunch with my agent and he was like, 
what went on with you and Jennifer Aniston last weekend? <laughs> oh and I was God. like, you're like, what? I said, I we were at a wedding. What are you talking yeah. about? And he said, her agent called me and said, Jen wanted to work with you. Oh, that's so oh. cool. And I was like, really? Yeah. I, I was so thrown off because I was just like, oh, that was just a fun yeah. uh, moment in time. And then, you that's know, so I think nice. sometimes when people are as well known as Jen, mm -hmm. there can be those that, you know, just maybe you find out they're not as friendly right. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then with her, I, I was like, Stephanie and I always marvel over just the kindness mm -hmm. that no, she exudes that. Oh, with strangers, with fans, with with yeah. friends, anyone that comes in her door, you know, she's yeah. just so, uh, anyway, and then, yeah, working with her mm -hmm. um, has been uh, a real treat. Yeah, I um, love that. I don't know why I didn't get her phone number. <laughs> mm, this is weird. Well, I have never met her, but mm. when Lisa Kudrow, who's my friend and mm. the best, was uh, promoting my show, Feel Good, she did like an actors on actors interview with Jennifer Aniston. Mm -hmm. And Jennifer Aniston said that I was beautiful. Oh. In the clip. We've never met. She was like, oh, yeah, and that person's like so beautiful. I isolated that the clip. Is, yeah. I went into iMovie. I isolated the clip. <laughs> yeah. I thought I sent the clip to everyone I knew. Yeah. It really, yeah. I wrote, I was high off I that bet. for a That's couple of- high praise. Yeah, 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 yeah. She did an impression of me once. I, I think I isolated that video. Oh, That's really, really yeah. good. What, did she nail it? She did a very good job. Yeah. yeah. You know her from Friends. You know her from the morning show. You know her. You love her. It is our dear friend, Jennifer Aniston. Hello, Handsome Podcast. It's Jen Aniston here. Um, I love each and every one of you, by the way. I have to say that. And pardon the stain on my shirt. Um, okay, here's my question. Have you ever been to a psychic or a medium, mediums talk to dead people, that said something that absolutely blew your mind, that you couldn't believe they, they got? Ungoogleable information. That is my question. She's ah. the best. God, didn't name a more likable person. Come on, I mean, now. she is very likable. And yeah. She just she's uh, gets more beautiful with age. I mean, I know we're gushing at this point. But yeah, from I know, a very we all have, like, real plan. I'm <laughs> actually gushing uh, from uh, menopause. Oh. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Do so, you want to take the blazer? Yeah, I'm yeah. getting that blazer off. Get it off! Come on now. Oh, this Lord. is when Do the pod. See it on my face. This is when the podcast gets here, yeah. but not Oh my god! And oh then I'll be god. freezing in a second. So it's like it feels like having a fever, like it, well, where it's like waves. Like I said before, yeah. it is exactly like being in a sauna, mm -hmm. and then you're like, okay, it's time to get out of the sauna, but someone locked the door. Oh, oh no. my god! It is, and it's coming for you. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I know I look like this, but I'm still <laughs> in menopause. <laughs> anyway. Wait, that's a very good, that's a very good question hmm. that she sent. I like yeah. a psychic situation. I have not talked to one in a while, but there was a time in my life where like once every like four months I called a psychic. <laughs> once every four months? <laughs> yeah. What were you, was it because you're really, waiting on love kind of thing? I think so. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah, I was really into it. It was like, where's Jack? I was like, give me all the information <laughs> you can. And what were you saying to her? Like, who is my partner going to be? Or yeah, what can I just do? Yeah, like, I was, career was stuff was not happening. And okay. love stuff was not happening. And it just kind of, you know, I need answers. It's... I think you go more. Was your, was your psychic like, "Hey, fortune"? Yeah, like, <laughs> oh my god! I think I got Christmas cards from the psychic. <laughs> no for like, way! For like three years. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done it to loan some fortune. Honestly, since I met Jax, I have not talked to a psychic. Hmm. I. It's really weird that this question is coming now. It's a little spooky because I've just been DMing with a psychic medium who's a fan of Handsome Pod. Whoa! And it popped up, and I followed her, and then I. I DM'd I was like hey do you have any sessions available and she's super booked up but I yeah. just liked her vibe so my grandma went to see a psychic after her boyfriend died and she was really 
like I just want to talk to this love of my life mm -hmm. and it was in England and it was this uh, psychic medium who didn't charge he was just like burdened by the gift and oh. so I, I kind of trust that I, it was yeah was it, it a man it was a man because I was just about to ask are psychics ever men definitely they are okay yeah yeah and she goes in and she sits down and he's like okay your father's here and she was like I don't want to talk to my father I'm, I'm looking for my boyfriend and her father died when she was like four or something and he's like yeah your boyfriend's like busy I guess <laughs> so, hooking up with someone oh. else or he's like your boyfriend's not here but or he's you know down there oh god fortune he, did, he didn't <laughs> fortune he didn't make it up there you know don't, I mean? don't even talk like that <laughs> oh don't even god. suggest such a thing don't talk about my grandma's boyfriend like that yeah i can't with you <laughs> then he could be down there so then um he goes you're you're <laughs> stop looking at me take go on may i apologize Apologize for Tig. Tig's still keeping an eye on you. Um, he, he's in heaven. We know this. Okay. And then the uh, the father's there. And then she's like, okay, well, I got nothing to say to my father. I, I barely knew him. And, and the psychic says, he wants me to tell you that he's sorry he yelled at you for when you brushed his top hat fabric the wrong way. Mm. And that's the only memory of her father that she had. What? How specific is oh, that? Oh, because he probably knew that. And yeah. she didn't want that. He didn't want that to be her yeah. only memory and it be bad. Isn't that crazy? That is wild. That is wild. He should be charging. He should be charging. But he's probably... That was a long time ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sorry, this was your grandmother's experience with a psychic? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because Jen's question was our oh, experience yeah. with a oh psychic. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is right. rare. This is in rare form. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're right. But it's always someone else uh -huh. with ghosts and yeah. stuff. It's always a friend. Someone else has, always has a cool story. I'm trying to remember if there was a specific thing that, like, came true. I think I went so much that all, <laughs> 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 that all the information just <laughs> rolled together. Yeah. So when you would pop up... <laughs> <laughs> when you're like, hey, it's me again. She's uh, like, what on the horizon? <laughs> it was on the phone. Okay. It wasn't on Zoom or. No, but this was pre Zoom. This was a lot, while ago. This would oh, have been right, like right. 10 or 11 years Skype. ago. Skype. Yeah, Skype <laughs> FaceTime. How insane is it that Skype missed the boat? I know. Like they, they were all the, teed up. They were on the. They were doing it. Cutting edge. And then yeah. a pandemic hits and Zoom's like, we got it. Yeah, it's weird. That's I mean, a good point, too. I miss it. I miss the sound. The beep, 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 mm -hmm. beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't remember the sound, but I, uh, <laughs> I, I just it, I'm, it bothers me that I, you know, Skype is like, ah, we had it in the bag. I know. <laughs> Wait, what happened? I know. Uh, well, since we're telling other people's psychic stories, <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have. I had heard an interview uh, with Ellen. Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> You're gay, You're too. You're friends with Ellen. <laughs> You're gay, too. She, she did you finger know. guns at you, too. Ellen did an interview was where she was told by a psychic about that she would uh, would get um, Finding Nemo. No. And that that would be the thing that turned, like, turned everything around and... But how is this a story Ellen told you? Or she you read know, it in she, People magazine? She, Ellen has told me no stories. Because I have follow-up <laughs> questions, but I feel like you don't have the answers. I don't answers. have the answers, so yeah. don't ask. It was an interview. I'm sure that I'm not making this up. That Ellen did i can't remember on what but even <laughs> who cares if you're making it up like why are you telling this is like when you tried to tell us the whole plot of that western tv show but you were like and then he's in his family and <laughs> <laughs> I, because i honestly can't think of a specific thing a psychic told me so i was like well i know someone i don't like know her know her <laughs> i just read it and who had that experience in the early 2000s i think ellen went to it did what I, if we I, show ellen this episode <laughs> and you're on here talking about <laughs> no i it resonated with me because i remember thinking god i wish i knew who that psychic was so you could get so a I roll. Would call and get a, a get a reading get an animation gig <laughs> yeah <laughs> hopefully mine's on the horizon I, uh, now I don't have the need as much. Like I was, I think I was looking for answers. Set. You know, uh -huh. I want to talk to d uh, dead relatives I and friends. I, I would like to talk to my grandmother. Yeah, I would really like to do that. The Long Island medium have have 
Yeah, the Long that. Island medium, and then also, um, and the, she does it with a an accent. Let me tell you something. I yeah. have your grandmother here. Here's what she wanted you to know. Okay. Uh, I oh, wanna, more, I, more, please. Yeah, yeah more. Like, yeah. Uh, your grandmother says uh, that uh, you know that <laughs> that bottle on the counter. Don't even worry about it. That happened. It wasn't your fault. You're good. She's great, and just wants you to have peace. Okay. <laughs> You know what I, mean? I like when they go and they go to a, like a stadium of people. I'm getting the letter R. Is there someone need, needs a letter R? And, and, and like, then like a thousand yeah, people. Yeah, right there. Thousand. What do you mean a stadium of people? This is oh, they get she huge. goes on tour. They're like oh, those mega oh, churches. Oh, I know. Yeah, and people go and they do like crossing over with John Edwards. Remember yeah. him? That was people like people want to talk to the loved one. Uh, well, have I told you lately that, that I, I love I, you? Yeah. Hopefully, you, oh, you have a story. This is good. Jenna well, like this. I have a story. <gasps> I was booked on the Long Island Medium. <gasps> what? Oh, wait, you oh, wait. did tell us that. We did know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and they yeah, didn't yeah. use the episode because you, you, everything well, you Because everything like, she said, I was like, no. I, I showed up. I was so newly in my relationship with Stephanie. Yeah. And Stephanie is so into psychics. Yeah. yeah. And mediums, all that kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, this isn't totally my thing, but... I love Stephanie, mm-hmm. and I want to go and do this. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I went so open. Okay. I oh, really man. did. Damn. But there's got to be... I still want a reading with the Long Island medium. Should we all Is do one? Is she still on TV? Uh, she's doing tours and stuff. I see her name on Marquis. Thomas, can you put that on the list? We, we would go. like the Long Island me- medium to get in contact with us so that we could talk to one of our loved ones. I I uh, I won't repeat that story, but yeah, uh, go into much detail about that. But it was it, it was, was disappointing. Weird. But ooh, this you might enjoy. Okay. Okay. I've talked to Jen's. Uh, ooh, I like that. Yeah. Jen- she, oh, because she has one. She has someone that that she goes to. Oh. Fam- famous. A lot of famous people have a psychic. Have like a good one. Yeah. That, that like that doesn't advertise publicly. Like no. a good. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. I think I heard in an interview. Oh my God! You were you <laughs> oh, need to my stop. Jen got her psychic <laughs> from Courtney. I don't know where this person okay. came from. Maybe. But can maybe. I get the... And that's de- Co- Courtney Co- Cox. Mm-hmm. Um, I really want to get the detail. Then this is someone, a medium who can communicate with. This is not a medium. This is a um, psychic. Okay, okay. And Stephanie and I both um, did a session with this psychic. What do you think? I mean, even, um, if, even if it's not real, it gets you to think about yourself and your mm-hmm. life. And mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I, I think it's... Uh, so wait, none of us have a, a oh, story. Well, I did have oh, a another. <laughs> <laughs> wait, is this an interview you read with Drew no, Barrymore? <laughs> I did my very first psychic ever. Yeah, uh, I had just come out, hmm. and she told me I was bisexual. <laughs> oh no way! <laughs> I was like, click. <laughs> first of all, I love the laugh you just did. Fortune just looked at me and went, <laughs> <laughs> click. <laughs> okay, so I was like, whatever you're going to say after this yeah. is kind of like, I don't know. But like the, the government and CIA and stuff used psychics until like the 70s or 80s. Oh, like, to, for s- serial killers. May serial fact. killers, like in, in May wars. hundred percent. hundred percent. Like that book, The Men Who Stare at Goats, like they were conducting psychic experiments until so recently. And then they just, I think it just got it bad pr and they stopped yeah. but i love a psychic i would go tomorrow if i knew of a good one i don't trust the psychics with the neon signs okay mm-hmm. if you're that good if even if they have a crystal ball in the window yeah yeah yeah. because <laughs> if you're that good did uh-huh. i tell you about psychic you don't sonia? Need a neon sign yeah in toronto psychic sonia next time you're there you gotta go just to experience the charlatan the fraudulent charlatan that psychic Sonia is, you will die. Is you this go like Miss Cleo. It, you go on she's Dundas. Famous? No, tiny oh. little shop with a neon sign. You well, go she's in. She's now famous. You, yeah, psychic Sonia is going to be huge. I went in with my best friend Joe, and we go in, and there's smoke. She's smoking inside, all yeah, the windows course. closed. And in the background, weirdly, she's watching a documentary exposing fake psychics. So she, I don't know. This is like. <laughs> I'm serious. It's. In your psyche. It was, yeah. And then she gives. She's like, what do you want? Like, she's annoyed that we came in. Yeah. She's like, okay. She act like she doesn't want it. She tells your me business. I'm going to meet my husband in Australia. Mm. She's trying to establish my gender like the whole time being like, and so you are. Uh, <laughs> friend, uh, 
friends? Uh, what What is this? She's like, I really need to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. all of this. And then my friend Joe was like, I guess I want to know, um, like people give me advice a lot and I try to, and, and sometimes I don't want to do what they say, but should I like listen to people more? Like my friends, yeah. she goes, uh, what do you mean? He's like, I don't know, like I don't drink hot beverages. I, I don't, I don't. I don't like coffee and people are always like drink she's like what do you mean you don't drink coffee he's like i don't know she goes you need to drink coffee every morning two sugars two milk you need to drink coffee and she's like what do you advice. drink he's like water juice i don't know she's like you gotta drink coffee she was like outraged <laughs> and then she oh said your God. friends are not your friends they're lying to you and they make fun of you behind your back was that true she was a total f crazy fraudster oh and neon sign neon, neon sign, sign yeah. psychic well, song maybe yeah. she's not going to be popular now that i think people oh, have yeah. to go for the experience because she she was so full of contempt and disdain for us. Yeah. It was really remarkable. We recorded it. Do you guys remember Miss Cleo? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I saw the documentary. Oh. oh. There's a documentary? There is. Is I it good? Um, it's it's good. You what know. was her catchphrase? Um, there was, what's your... No. She was like Jamaican, yeah. <laughs> or please don't tell. Or it. maybe she wasn't. Maybe she. I think I remember in the documentary. Wait, what happened? I just said please don't do it. It um, felt like I'm nailing years like every accent. <laughs> Launch you into your jersey. <laughs> I think that um, she maybe pretended to be Jamaican. Oh, oh that no was fake way. too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. My wow. What if psychic Sonya real anymore? Yeah, her name might not even have been Sonya for real. But not one of us have had a psychic experience that really stands out as being like, oh, they told me this thing in it. And did you know that like three weeks later that happened? Mm. I do have one that I was present for, but wasn't for me. Uh, let's hear it. I'm all about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Secondhand news. Wait, wasn't that Miss Cleo's catchphrase? <laughs> let's hear it. I'm all about that. Um, <laughs> there is a catchphrase, though. Yeah, there is. That can't what be is it. What is it? Call me. Oh yeah, but I won't do the accent. It's call me now, but in, <laughs> but okay. I'm with. I'm maybe eight. No, it's already falling apart. I'm ten, <laughs> and okay. I'm with my dad, and we're in Brighton, that like seaside town in England, and there's like a pier, and uh, it's the '90s, and and kind of an old school pier still, and there's a little caravan that says mm -hmm. psychic, and it truly looks like it's out of The Wizard of Oz. And mm -hmm. uh, my kids just watched that yesterday for the first time. Uh, no. Okay. And we actually went and saw the Wiz live uh, production here in Los Angeles it's, over the weekend. Oh, I got to take. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay, so we go Kids. in and my dad's like, he used to be very mystical, but he's sort of become pretty pragmatic. And so we go in and sit down and there's this old man and he's looking at my dad's hand. He's like, you were a writer? My dad's like, yeah. And he's like, and you were, so you were living abroad and then you've come back here because your mother's sick and he's like yeah and which is true and then he's looking at it and then he suddenly looks at me and goes can you wait outside i'm 10 oh, wow and i'm like what do you mean he's like just step outside for a minute i need to speak and i go outside and my dad comes out 20 minutes later white as a sheet Whoa. and he has never told me what was said in there he's just like Ooh. i don't want to talk i don't oh know my God, and we've got to find what, out what was it am i gonna get hit by a bus or something like i think at this point you're pretty good you With think buses? I'm good? Yeah. <laughs> well, people still get hit by buses. I know, but when they're adults. <laughs> I think May's all right. Yeah. What? How? Yeah. Are you a psychic? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I my God. I don't want to tell you guys. Misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> Misfortune. <laughs> Call me now. <laughs> <laughs> Call me later. <laughs> well, wow. Leave a message. Well, clearly he said something that was... Uh, really stuck uh, yeah her. i don't know if I it was like we're here to tell us i don't know if it was a prediction of the future or like very accurate about the past but it right. was i think spot on and i looked for that guy i went yeah. back in my 20s and it obviously disappeared caravan's still there and then it's it's like some that. charlatan i love i that i'm i get to say that word charlatan in this episode twice i love that mm -hmm. i love you too <laughs> um should we hear jen's uh yeah response? let's hear it <laughs> she, hopefully she'll have an actual <laughs> i know experience <laughs> oh, i can't wait to hear it okay so the answer to that question for me is yes i have i spoke to a medium about four years ago um we were so many so much was coming through so much was coming through but she said this one thing a bunch of things that blew my mind but this one was really incredible she said, your mom n could never compete with her, her first husband's 
dancers. So my mom's first husband, my fa my brother's father, was a, like a big band leader, and he always was having these affairs with women. Um, and my mom was always sort of, you know, quiet and meek. And then she said, but he also wanted her to know that he never recovered from the death of his sister who died in a plane crash. What? So I'm like, but that's so specific. So I called my brother and I said, I also didn't know his father had a sister. That was the other thing. So I said to my brother, Johnny, did your father have a sister who died? So I don't say plane crash, I don't say anything. And then he goes, oh yeah, Aunt Jane, Aunt Jane, she died in a plane crash. No. That's wild. What? Excuse me? Oh, Aunt Jane, yes, she died in a plane crash. Chills now, oh. even repeating the story. So oh my yes. God. Wow. 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 I That's... truly did get goosebumps. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Same. The specificity of dancers, uh -huh. plane crash. All of it. All I of it. Go yeah. to that. I mean, there's nothing where you're like, well, I want to go to that medium. Can we get that person's contact? And because I maybe would... the night that the private private chef makes us dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Jen was like this. Asking you a question well, that's I come think, with a lot of strings. Yes, yeah. I think the easiest thing for us to do would be to move in, for the three of us to move in with our families and animals into, into Jen's house. house. And yeah. then when yeah. she's yeah, yeah. talking to her yeah. psychic, we could pop in the back and be like, what about, yeah. Yeah. What about, yeah. what about Fortune's <laughs> animated grandma, show? Is my grandma coming through? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is where our road trip should be to, is yeah, her the road, house. Exactly, yeah, yeah. the road trip could be to Jen's house. What if I contact Wait, my... Wait, the road trip is to Jen's house? <laughs> yeah, that's well, not We're going to take a road trip? <laughs> that's not far. <laughs> well, because the rest of the weekend, we're going to be at Jen's house. Okay. Having a slumber party. Wait, That's but cool. that was a cool story. What if we contact the medium? And I talked to my dead grandmother and she's like why are you talking about my problem area on your podcast and that's the one thing she's mad about my problem she might be <laughs> upset about grandma's problem area we've talked a lot about grandma's problem area your grandma's problem area yeah specifically I mean that area <laughs> is a real problem that's all to say uh, clearly we would go to a psychic we're all open to it yeah. feel, it seems like yeah, yeah and like yeah. I, I would love to if you're out there and you're a psychic Particularly a medium, I would really. A medium, I you're a medium. Love. Yeah, yeah. Well, so. my my uh, girlfriend uh, had someone tell her that in a past life she stole her best friend's wife. She was a guy, and her oh. best friend had a wife, and the wife was in love with Parv in a past life, and then the 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 best friend went off to fight in a war, and and then they and 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 so then uh, since then the the psychic was like that's why. You feel you don't deserve love and like you are you feel guilty about it and you sort of oh. shut yourself off from love because you feel like you betrayed your best friend in this past life mm. yeah okay well you could say that to anyone really I wonder what but I that's was another in. story of someone else's <laughs> right? someone else and it's not even a yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, on, it's on par i mean i was the only one on that par. really on par. brought on par. oh no you brought what happened well yeah i was gonna say i was the only one that brought an actual story from uh, psychic, um, but then I realized was you it did again? too. You would every yeah, month <laughs> calling and going, "Where's my girlfriend? <laughs> Am I going to find love? Am I going to be in an animated movie? <laughs> I'll call you in four months to check back up on this." Hi, Fortune. Do you hey, have any Fortune. other questions? Nope. <laughs> no. I just want my love to come home. But it is funny with psychics when they're like, the the words like coconut grove is coming to mind does that have any you know meaning to you and you're like searching so hard in your brain like coconut grove coconut grove like <laughs> maybe coconut grove like I mean, my friend point. may's allergic to coconuts <laughs> yeah. and they're you're like, just okay, reaching yeah. for any straw like yeah actually that yes that does track coconut grove yes what about it <laughs> that's the best part about psych is you just want you it try and be, connect anything. Yes. And yeah, really anything. all everybody wants to hear is like, they forgive you. They're happy. They're at peace. Mm -hmm. You're like, nothing's your fault. And yeah. you're the best. Yeah. Yeah. Well, excellent episode, my oh, friends. Oh, what a man. podcast. What a podcast. I don't know what else we can give 
the boats. Boats. Is this going to be <laughs> our final episode <laughs> in April? Well, we didn't make April, it yeah. past April. <laughs> I do want you guys to know one thing, though, before we get into the re- the end of the podcast. Oh, oh what? God. Oh, my God. What? What is it? Are you quitting? <laughs> Fortune, what Fortune, is it? Fortune, I'm guys. scared. I'll be there for <laughs> you. I'll be there for you. Wait, how's the rest of the song go? Because <laughs> oh like, you're there for me too. When the rain starts to fall. <laughs> and it's raining. Guys. Wow. Oh my God. It feels God. kind of medium-y. And <laughs> it feels... It, I got goosebumps. I didn't. <laughs> I also I genuinely thought... I bet you thought, never thought that life would... Oh, she's oh, going to come, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> your friends are joke. Wait, your job's a joke. You're broke. Your friends are. Thank you. Okay. Have your Gone headshot away. resume. <laughs> Thank I you. I always beat my pants. <laughs> Not on my couch. Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Fortune. <laughs> like it was so close. <laughs> I'm good. I'm okay. I did it. I did it. Okay. Oh and you God. sing that like. Somebody's grandmother in church. I don't know the words. So. <laughs> I know, but the I'll be, I'll be there for you because you're there for me too. <laughs> thank you, grandmother. <laughs> and thank you to Jen for oh, that oh, awesome man. question. Yes. And thank you, incredible Jen. Thank you so answer. much. One ridiculous. of the coolest answers. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. May, do you have anything you'd like to plug? Buttholes. <laughs> I'd like to always plug. Uh, just go on my Instagram. You can see I'm always at Largo and you know around the town. Yeah, I'm, I'm on a podcast called Handsome. Yo. Yeah, yeah, check that out. Uh, yeah, I feel like my new special might be out. Always, yeah. Hello again. Yeah, on uh, Amazon, and uh, I'm going around. Los Angeles doing my uh, new material at Largo and Dynasty Typewriter. It's the title of your special. I can so hear in your voice too. Hello like, again. Or like, hello again. I don't know. I can just hear it. I don't even say it. Hello you don't again. say it in the whole. Well, I don't want to blow it. Okay, but yeah, okay, I don't okay, say okay, it okay, in cool. the whole All special. Right. Do you say it like, hello, Newman? <laughs> Hello, Newman. I don't, I don't know. know what that is. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> what is Hello, Newman? You know from Seinfeld. Oh, uh, well. Anyway, Fortune, you got it. I've never seen Seinfeld. <laughs> Are you serious? I have never seen I haven't seen watched Seinfeld. a lot of it either. Yeah. What? I've only seen like maybe four Seinfeld episodes. This is crazy. I, I also, one. I like, I didn't want, like, I feel like two I know one. every beat of the Friends themes. Like, it was. Oh, I, was yeah, tr- yeah. I was trying really hard not I to jump in. I assumed you probably knew the whole song. I was like, oh, wait. Can you sing the theme song to Morning Show? I have it in my head. Well, that's It sounds like us. a do 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 Okay, we have your headshot and resume. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like yeah, a, that's it's it. like the song. <laughs> no, that's it. The song's like you got it. it. <laughs> Please, can someone on social media take the audio clip of Fortune doing that and put it over the over title the, credits? Yeah. I have a it in friend. my head. Yeah. But the song's so unique that I can't wrap my head around how exactly it goes. Or you could put the Friends intro at the beginning of the morning show. I really need someone to do this with both of the, the switcheroon. Yeah. Did, life, did anyone tell you life was <laughs> oh, no. going to be this way? <laughs> I can do the Broadway version. Isn't that it? Yeah. Did anyone tell you life was going to be that way? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> second gear. <laughs> oh, yeah. Second gear. That's in there. Um, I'm on the last leg of my comedy tour, the mm-hmm. Live, Laugh, Love tour. I don't know um, if anybody like Jen wants to come to a show. Yeah. Let me know. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, you can go to my website, fortunefeature.com, to see if I'm at a city near you. I'll just go to it when I miss you. Just, yeah, go, to, just go to the website. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm also at tignotaro.com. We have great handsome merch. Oh my gosh! Do we, we ever? Pretty little lady sweatshirts, handsome t-shirts, flying on yeah. the shirts, little cowboy hats. Yeah. Yeah. Um, travel mugs. I'm loving seeing tumblers, them out. I mean, out in the wild. Mm-hmm. You can go to handsomepod.com to get any of that. Um, and people were tagging us before our, the last holiday 
saying they were so pumped because they ordered their mm -hmm. loved ones merch. Yeah, start and, yeah. ordering now for Easter. Yeah. Yes, Easter's a big, Easter. a huge Fill gift those Easter giving. Yes, Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, I said Hollywood. <laughs> Easter's a huge gift holiday. Yeah, and uh, also <laughs> it's really important to know. That you should subscribe. Click mm -hmm. the subscribe yeah. button. Please. And um, review us. Give us five stars. Yeah. And share this episode. Especially after this episode. I mean, this is yeah. Jennifer Aniston. Okay? And it okay. does not get better than that. Yeah. There's so. some hot off the press secondhand anecdotes about celebrities we, have, we read in interviews. We have told <laughs> so many stories about other people's psychic experiences. <laughs> uh, well, it's just a good time. I feel good when I'm around you guys. Yeah, I feel good. Thank you. <gasps> oh my <laughs> god. Guys, this is better than a high five. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Wow. Look at Would that. Would you high five Why us? Why you guys let go? <laughs> <laughs> Would you what? Would you high five us? No. Sure. That was as, that was as good as it can get. I'll yeah. take it. I'll take it too. Well, until well, then, until next time. That's right. right. Yeah. Keep, Keep it handsome. handsome.